morning to you. Good morning, and well, and happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. So, um, I'm dressed in my, uh, one of my favorite green shirts, a green tie. I'm all dressed for the day. Now, just let me, uh, grab my chair. There we go. It's, uh, nice and straight right there. So grab my, uh, ottoman. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's get to my low, my high, my act of kindness before I talk about it today. So, um, my low is, hmm, I don't really have much of a low per se. Uh, you know, I guess my low is I kind of procrastinated getting up this morning. Because normally, like, literally right about now is when I'd probably be either done with my video or my video would be uploading, but I'm only just starting the video now. It's just after, it's like quarter after nine is when I'm recording this, by the way. So, yeah, normally, I procrastinate this morning, and yeah, I can see why. And that's a problem. Um, let's see, my high is the fact that Last night I had a lot of fun going from place to place, seeing everybody dressing green for the holiday, even though the holiday is really today. And uh, my act of kindness was, um, before I went out to church and did everything last night, I did something for uh, my folks yesterday. Uh, their entire, well, their, their entire backyard is like covered in nothing but pine cones. And I single-handedly took took care of uh, half of the yard. I mean, because the way the backyard started, there's this one like giant pine tree where all the pine cones are originating from. And what happens is they fall off the tree and the wind blows them obviously away from the tree. Like pretty much all the pine cones that are right up against the tree, I avoided, I didn't do because again, the tree is right there. So I pretty much take care of all the pine cones that are furthest away from the tree, which was well over half the yard. So I, I, I did a lot for them. And it was nice. I'm glad I did a nice thing for, for my mom and dad. You know, it was actually something like, hello, um, here's the thing. My mom wanted me to use a rake. I was getting nowhere. I was getting nowhere done with the rake. Like, like, seriously. It was just easy for me to, um, you know, pick up the uh, pine cones with my hands and then, uh, you know, put them in one big pot, which got things done a lot faster and more efficient, which was good until I was done and I realized my hands were covered in, uh, you know, a pine syrup, you know, the, the pine sap, the stuff that sometimes is the residue that's on the pine cones. And uh, if you've never gotten the pine sap on your hands before, it's very hard to remove from your hands. Your hands are sticky. They, um, they smell like, you know, like pine, which isn't a bad smell, not at all. But it can be annoying if, it's, if your hands are like, you know, really sticky. So my mom gave me, um, Funny, you know, I did have alcohol yesterday, but not in the way you'd expect. Because uh, one thing that can remove pine sap from your hands is uh, rubbing alcohol. So, mom poured it on my hands, poured it with the sink, got like paper towels and stuff like that, got it all off my hands, and it worked. So, I took care of a lot of the uh, pine cones that were in my parents' backyard yesterday, and that was my act of kindness. I tell you what, though, like, it felt like, it actually felt really good to be out and about doing that. I mean, don't worry, it, helped, it felt good to help my mom and dad, especially since my mom just had wrist surgery. But like, like I felt so good after I did the, uh, the thing with the pine cones that I immediately took like a, like a 40 minute power nap. And it felt, I, I really like lay flat in bed, just like, and I do that for like 40 minutes. 
Like I was, like I was out cold, but it, it, it felt good to do it. It kind of, it rejuvenated me for, um, for the evening. Um, did a lot of stuff last night, went to Nick's, saw a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff there. Went to uh, Illegal for a little bit, saw my friends there. Went to Pix, the big party there. Went to Album for a little bit. You know, I, I did a lot. I went from place to place. And it was awesome. You know, it's just a shame that like you couldn't really do anything on the actual holiday, which is today. Because, you know, it's, you know, it's Sunday. I mean, you can. I mean, for all intents and purposes, nothing really is stopping anyone from, you know, all the St. Patrick's Day related shenanigans that are normally associated with, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Except, today is Sunday. You know, most people have this thing called work to do. And, you know, kind of hard to really get up in the morning after and potentially an entire day of, you know, drinking, if you're going to do that. Which, if you are actually going to drink today, I know, I know it's Sunday, so technically the weekend is just about over, but what I'm about to tell you still applies. If you go, if you are going to go out and go drinking, please, 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 for the love of God, drink responsibly. Okay? Do that. You know, you're supposed to have a happy St. Patrick's Day. You can't have a happy St. Patrick's Day when you don't drink responsibly. No matter how much you might think you will. And also, and I really need to emphasize this, don't drink and drive today. Okay? Like, if you have to have anything to drink, have one drink, that's it. In fact, I can tell you right now, I had a drink last night. One. I actually had my first espresso martini last night at Illegal. Yeah, my very first espresso martini. It's, arguably, it's the most popular cocktail they have at Illegal. And I'm like, God damn, this is good. Like, holy shit, this is really good. Like, where has this been all my life? <laughs> it really was fantastic. And, and, you know, I think I may have a new cocktail if I ever go to Illegal. That, um, that, that's how good it is. So, yes, I will admit, I am a responsible type. I only, I, I had one drink, and that's exactly what I did. And that's actually my rule of thumb if ever I, like, here's the thing. I have two very important rules if I ever go drink. Okay? Two very important rules. My first rule is I never drink if I'm feeling any kind of negative emotion. Whether I'm feeling sad or angry or doubtful or you know afraid of something. I never drink under those conditions, okay? Because alcohol can magnify those feelings and it can be, it can be not very good. And uh, my other important rule is one drink only if I'm going to do it. Now, occasionally, you know, if there is like, you know, samplings, you know, it's a little, like, a sample is not like something tiny. That, that's not going to hurt me. I'm okay with having samples of things. And if it was like a special occasion, like say my birthday, okay, I'll consider having another drink. In fact, that's what happened on my last birthday. I mean, I had one drink, but a friend of mine knew it was my birthday, so he offered to buy me a beer. So I'm like, well, okay, just one. So, yeah, if I ever have more than one drink, like, it better, like, this better be really damn good if I'm gonna, be, if I'm gonna have more than one, like, drink of any kind. Whether it's a beer or a cocktail or a glass of wine or whatever. Oh, oh trust me, I don't play, like, listen, I kind of want to make videos every day for a very long time. I've been doing it for a very long time. I want to do it for much longer. And uh, I can't do that if I get in trouble with alcohol or any other sort of crazy thing that could put me in a bad place. I don't want to do that. And I don't really want to I've never had any problem with drinking at all. 
or drugs or alcohol. I, I've never had any problems with that ever. That's not me trying to come. I really have never had any problems with that stuff. Reason being was because, well, when I was a little kid, I was always scared straight. You know, I was convinced that, you know, if you did drugs or alcohol, you'll die one day. I mean, now I know you're going to die anyway, but with drugs and alcohol, there's the potential that you'll die sooner. And uh, I didn't want that. But also, that kind of stuff never really interested me. I mean, how am I supposed to, like, I'm supposed to believe that there's a, um, that, like, you can, like, I'm supposed to believe that you can only have fun when, like, you're going out partying and drinking every day, possibly doing various drugs that are probably legal now, but you know, and a lot, but there's a reason why they weren't. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm like, I'm supposed to believe you're having, to only, you can only have fun doing that. Well, listen, I'm 34 years old. I can tell you right now, I've had a lot of fun in life without any of that stuff. Okay? You don't need it. I mean, you know what? Here's the thing. Stuff like alcohol should complement your life. Not define it. Okay? That, that's, that's what you should, that's, that's how it should be. You know, all the vices that we come to know that we think we have that, you know, we tend to be, you know, gravitate towards or possibly even addicted to, like, they should complement your life. Not define it. I mean, my mom thinks that my mom thinks I have a food addiction, which I wouldn't necessarily say that, but you know, I think food more complements my life than defines me. I mean, I'm not thinking of food right now. I'm not hungry right. Well, to be honest, I'm not even hungry right now. I mean, the day the day is still pretty early. It's only again, you know, nine o'clock in the morning, or just about. Yeah, it's almost 9.30. So in terms of what my plans are for today, I have to say, I don't really know. Um, it, uh, I know I have, um, uh, I'm going to go to church, obviously. You know, that, that's definitely going to be happening. Um, I'm going to see my family today. That, uh, that's going to happen too. And you know what? I mean, maybe if something goes on later today, okay, I'll consider going out and seeing what it is that's going on. But honestly, I mean, if I wind up not going out, that's fine. You know? Honestly, already going to church gets me out and about, so I don't really gotta worry about that. And maybe see my family today too. So honestly if I just wanted to see my family today, that would that would just be the right way to, you know, finish off my day. Or continue my day, I suppose. So, um yeah. That's it. You know if I'm sure a lot of people are celebrating today. I, I certainly am. Um, again, if you're going to do it, please do it responsibly. Please sure. Oh, you know what? I have a third rule when it comes to drinking. Don't ever drink alone. That's, that's my third rule. So I, I just gave you three important rules. You know, never drink alone, never drink feeling any kind of negative emotion, and only one, okay? That's, that's, those are my three rules, and I'm going to stick to them. So, if you're going to celebrate today, please do so responsibly. If, you know, you have to worry about driving, for the love of, like, if you're really worried about drinking and driving, then don't even bother, okay? Like, put yourself out of that misery. Don't go drink and drive. Don't do it, okay? You have lots of awful, okay? So, 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 so don't do it. And, um, honestly, see my family, that'll be, 
That would have been cool. Um, so, normally this would be the part where I would end the video saying how humble I am I made this video. I hope everyone, how I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Um, and, you know, I would say if you want to talk or chat, you know, listen to what you have to say, you know, take care, you know, make good choices, you know, 607 all day, baby. But you know what? It's St. Patrick's Day. So you know what? I think it's best appropriate to end this video with a traditional Irish blessing. And so, with that said, for all you ladies and gentlemen out there, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone.